our fellow WI members. <laughs> Louder. Oh no. <laughs> Not a pantomime. Right. Um, how wonderful it is to see so many of you here this evening. And you all look so gorgeous. We scrub up well, I don't know. we? <laughs> wow. Um, thank you so much for coming tonight and supporting us in the first of many special events which will take place in this our centenary year. <laughs> it with the applause. So you know. <laughs> but haven't we been lucky with the weather? Oh. Yes. When you look at the pictures from the west and the south of this glorious country of ours, does it make you glad that we live in Norfolk? Yes. I mean, we always had a slight worry that, you know, the weather could turn and we'd have to cancel. But, uh -uh, they have spared us. However, if it should turn nasty, I've got the key to Louise's room. <laughs> and I promise you, for a gin and tonic, you can take turns in the bed, okay? <laughs> um, I'm sure that many of you are aware that today is the very day that our Norfolk Federation was formed in 1919. So happy birthday to us. <laughs> Lady Denman herself travelled up from London and you might have seen the report of the first meeting that was published in Home and Country and then we redid it, reproduced it in our WI News. But tonight, is neither the time nor the place for a history lesson. However, you can rest assured that there will be one on another occasion. <laughs> but I can't resist sharing one little nugget from the early board reports, which I promise is relevant to this evening's activities. In December 1950, there was a resolution proposed to the Federation Executive by Binham WI. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore. And the resolution was that there should be elastic in knickers. <laughs> dancing round our handbags later on, I think we should be very grateful to the then Board of Trustees who passed this resolution unanimously. Like this doesn't just happen and of course we have some thank yous to make. Firstly, a huge thank you to the Holiday Inn for making this room look so wonderful. And for putting out the red carpet. And they have also been extremely generous with raffle prizes. So make sure you've got your tickets. I believe Maggie will come amongst you sometime during the evening, or maybe not. No? Well, yes, she will, yes. So make sure you've got them. My next thank you, of course, is to the Board of Trustees and our amazing, dedicated, and hard-working office staff. run out of superlatives then, but uh, I'm sure they'll give me some more. The meetings leading up to this year have been many, and sometimes they have seemed endless. But 
somehow we will remain friends. I know, amazing. And we can look forward to FAM, our cathedral celebration, the garden parties, and of course that final Thanksgiving in King's Lynn. I know, just for you guys. Knowing that we have tried to please at least some of the people some of the time. But tonight we need a special mention to Coral and Vicky, who have organised a night to remember. They really have done an amazing job, and how they fitted it in, in amongst their frequent and quite long holidays, we just don't know. You might notice they've got a bit of a tan going on. And finally, of course, thank you to all of you. You've all put on your glad rags and come here tonight hoping to have a good evening. And we hope that it's worth it, because without you, there wouldn't be an awful lot of point, really, would there? But before I sit down and we can get on with our dinner, there's someone else here with an important birthday today. June, could you give me a wave? She's actually not quite a hundred. In fact, she doesn't look a day over 80. So I have a card for her, but maybe we could all sing happy birthday to June and the Norfolk Federation. 